So you got a bike. You've been riding around, enjoying it, having fun, really getting into it. And that's amazing. I'm proud of you. But now, being the person that you are, you want more. And to test yourself, you've chosen a 50-mile ride. Now here's some tips that I hope you get through your first 50-mile ride. Let's get in it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So I just completed a 50-mile ride, and I want to make a quick video to go over a few tips if you're looking to also complete a 50-mile ride. So go ahead, call up some friends, tell them to bring their bikes, and let's get ready to ride. And of course, I got the Damani front and center. Let's go. So let's get into it. Number one, it's going to be to set a date. Now this may sound kind of weird, but a lot of times when we plan these big events, we say, someday I would like to do this. Someday I would like to ride 50 miles, or someday I would like to ride whatever distance is. However, we never set that date and that someday never shows up on the calendar. So make sure even if it's months away, set that date. You can always readjust the date, but at least you have something to work towards and a goal to plan towards. Um, that way you can get it accomplished. So number two is going to be to map it out. You want to know where you're going. That way, when you get out there, you don't find yourself uh, going uphill both directions on your route and making it a lot harder for yourself you want to make sure that it's something that's to your level of fitness and being mindful of the elevation would definitely go a long way to be a, being able to complete your first 50 miles so for number three is going to be to have some sort of gps device you know one of the last things you want to be dealing with is missing your turn and going miles in the wrong direction and just adding to your commute um, the 50 miles is going to be hard enough the first time you don't need to make it any harder so make sure that you have some sort of GPS device to keep you on track and on course so now that we got those out of the way let's just focus on to you number four is going to be to build yourself up now if you've never ridden this far or you're just starting your fitness journey you're not just going to jump out of bed and do 50 miles you're going to have to build yourself up to it so with that, each week, gradually increase your mileage um, till you can start building towards being able to complete that 50 miles. So along with that, there's two key things that'll help you complete your 50 mile ride. The first one's gonna be to pace yourself. Now you, we know you're excited, you wanna get out there, you're full of energy, and you wanna just go as fast as you can. All right, if you do that, you're not gonna finish, you're not gonna complete, you're gonna end up sh falling short. The goal here is to complete the 50 miles, not to focus on the time, but just to complete the 50 miles. After you do your first one, you can start focusing on doing it faster. So no matter where you are with your fitness, you want to be able to gradually increase the distance that you're doing. So week by week, going up to your date, you want to be increasing the total mileage. And not only that, you also want to be increasing your time in the saddle. Now the second part of that is to fuel for your ride. Now I've talked about this in other videos, but it's critical to make sure that you're fueling your body for your ride, especially at these long distances where it becomes magnified. Your fitness level may be good and you may feel good uh, physically, but your body will shut down if you don't give it the nourishment and the food to continue and to complete the ride. And along with food, Another portion of fueling is uh, making sure you hydrate and drink water. Especially in the cooler months, you can neglect your water intake um, as you may not be as hot or sweating as much due to the cooler temperatures. But you got to make sure that you maintain your uh, hydration levels and are drinking water regularly on your rides. The next tip is to break your ride up into intervals. If the only markers you have is zero miles and 50 miles it's going to be a lot harder on you mentally you want to have points of interest along the way to help break up your ride now this could be maybe a meetup point maybe a place to eat a landmark 
uh, or just a, a nice view that you can kind of just get to and maybe take a short break and kind of break up the ride a bit so you're not just aiming for 50 miles so setting brakes throughout your ride will definitely help break up the ride and make it easier to complete so the next thing is going to be your gear having the proper gear is essential to completing your ride now a good pair of padded shorts is something you may want to invest in as being in the saddle this long is definitely going to have an impact on you um, you don't want to not be able to finish the ride or have to pedal standing up for the majority or the remainder of the ride because you know you're sore from not having a good pair of shorts along with that if you're riding in cooler temperatures you want to have gear that will accommodate that colder weather um, whether it be gloves or thermos you don't want to be too cold and not be able to complete the ride because you're cold on the flip side of that if it's summertime you want to have gear that will accommodate the hot temperatures and make you feel cool so again you don't stop the ride because of the weather and you're being too hot and the last tip I'm gonna leave you with is making sure your bike is properly tuned um, Taking it to a local bike shop or if you know how to do it yourself, uh, tuning your bike up for the ride will ensure that it's working at optimal level and it's not a hindrance on your ride. Again, we want to be able to complete the ride and not have other outside elements impact us and not allow us to finish. Now with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful. And I hope to hear about you completing your first 50 mile ride. I'll talk to y'all soon. The, uh, the trail path from there? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the trail trail, yeah. Okay. Alright, I know it was.